In this segment, we will learn about some of the condition options that can assist us when cutting intricate graphics such as small characters. One of the options that we are going to use is the tangential mode. When cutting intricate designs on more supple medias, there is a tendency for the blade to tear up corners when it maneuvers around them. Tangential mode, when enabled, prevents that from happening. This diagram demonstrates how tangential mode works. When the blade reaches a corner, it lifts the blade, maneuvers it to the next direction, and then continues on. But notice at the corner that it not only lifts out of the media, but it overcuts each line. When doing this, it allows the corners to have a cleaner cut. Let's configure a condition for cutting intricate designs. In this lesson, we will use condition two. So let's hold the enter key and press the two key to switch to condition two. Let's configure it and press the condition test button. Here we'll adjust the typical settings, starting with force. Here we can lower the value to about 14, and then press enter to accept the change. Next, we can lower the speed a little, and then press the three key, and then press the down arrow key until the value is set to 25. This is a little slower than normal when cutting vinyl, but it helps when handling the corners. And then press enter to accept the change. The next step is to enable tangential mode. We can do this by pressing the down arrow key to cycle through the pages of options until this page where the tangential mode is shown as an option. And then press the three key for tangential mode. Here, tangential mode provides us with a choice between two modes, mode one and mode two. Mode one will cause the blade to lift at each corner as well as overcuts each corner. It is generally used for thicker media because it provides clean corners. Mode two is for semi-thick medias. It will cause the blade to lift at each corner, but only overcuts on the corner of the start and end point. For this demonstration, we will use mode two because we are not cutting a thicker media. So we want it to lift up the blade to maneuver it at the corners, but don't necessarily need it to perform an overcut on each corner. As a note, when cutting intricate graphics on media that is perhaps more pliable, it may be best to use mode one. Once that is set, we can press enter to accept the change. The acceleration should also be adjusted to a slower value so that it won't accelerate around the corners too fast, causing the corners to lift or be damaged. The next option is the overcut value. This option goes hand in hand with the tangential mode in that it allows the distance of the overcut to be adjusted. The overcut value is generally not needed for thinner materials, so we won't adjust them. But if you ever find during cutting that the start and end points are not meeting due to media stretching, you should try to extend the overcut values to alleviate this issue. Once the condition for intricate cutting is set, we can press the condition test button again to get back to the default menu. The intricate design can then be sent to the cutter. As you can see, using tangential mode really makes it easy to weed the design.